Hello everyone, this is Mike Sang V and I am back with another Cognos Report Studio interview question and again this question is a scenario based interview question and in this client requirement is they want each alternative rows in different color. This is our scenario 1 and this is scenario 2 in which the first row is in default color or white color and remaining rows the remaining rows is in alternative color. So we are going to achieve both this scenario and one more thing you have to remember this in this list we don't have any identity column or unique column so we have to handle this so how we are going to handle this uh, for this I want to open report studio and this is my report studio this is my employee table and uh, for the time being assume ID column is not available we are not going to use this ID column so I am going to use employee name and salary drag and drop and our list is ready drag and drop and our list is ready and now I am going to add a new data item in my query so let me go to right click and query and let me quickly add a new data item in this and for this data item just let's say row num ok and let me blank this is blank and I want the aggregate function for this uh, none and same for roller up aggregation and the next thing I want to add this inside my list ok this is my list and this step is not mandatory I am going to just show you how to achieve this this is just for demonstration purpose ok and let me quickly go here let me add this this is my row number no 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 I want to add this inside list ok sorry ok now drag and drop this just here and right now I want to change its text to that item value no I want to use its source type is report expression now we are going to add this uh, we are going to use row number to generate alternative text in different color for this let me quickly go in function and then report function and in report function we are going to use row num and here is row number simply add this validate everything is fine click on ok and it's time to run our report finally we got a unique number for each row now we are going to use this to generate alternative color ok the next thing I and the next function I want to use is mod function and mod function is available in your report function and here is your mod function so we are going to use this and the expression and what is the function of mod ok so when you are going to use mod function the function of mod is it is going to return the reminder for any division so let's say I want to divide 1 by 2 ok 1 comma 2 so it is going to divide 1 by 2 and it is going to return the reminder so I want this and in case of 1 it is going to return 1 and in case of 2 it is going to return 0 so whenever my mod function is going to return 1 then I want a different color and whenever my mod is going to return 0 then I want different color so I am going to use the same concept here and let me first show you the output of this ok and here is my output now my every row or alternative row have a 101010 10, 10. so for 1 we are going to assign a color and for 0 we are going to assign a color ok now next thing uh, as I mentioned I don't want this row I just use this row for demonstration purpose so I am going to delete this row finally I want to assign a conditional style for my this rows so I am going to select the my required rows and then I am going to go and select conditional style click on this ellipse button and now I want to add a advanced conditional style I am going to name it let's say alternate to color ok and for this I am going to add expression 
the same expression is my mod row number and comma 2 I hope everything is fine yes everything is fine and finally whenever my mod is going to return 0 then I want to display that row in some different colors or so let's say I'm going to use a silver okay and for new whenever my mod this expression is going to return 1 then I want to show some different color okay so for this we are going to select let's say uh, teal click on ok and we are ready to run our report click on ok and it's time to run your report and now you are able to see the alternate rows in different color now the last change now in this scenario I want to show my first row in white color so I'm going to modify my report or my condition a little bit for this I am going to edit my alternative color condition and style and for the first row the row number is 1 so we have to modify this ok when mod row number equals to 1 and row number is greater than 1 click on ok ok and we forgot to validate our expression so quickly go and validate and everything is fine so click on ok click on ok click on ok and it's time to run our report and our first row is in white color the second row is in gray and from second rows onward we have alternate color for each row so that's it for this video i hope you are able to understand these questions and you are able to replicate it in your scenario or you are able to answer it in front of or in any interview question so that's it for this video thank you for watching don't forget to click on subscribe like button and share with your friends see you all in next interview question video